thing. So, don't think to get a youth first until you set a foundation for yourself first. When you set a foundation for yourself first, you say, okay, I think we can have a girl now and settle in. And then we can have a youth. Because when you get the girl first, you know, you and the girl supposed to have bill. You're not supposed to get the girl and the first thing you think about is to get her pregnant. Because remember, you're not set yourself yet. Because if you and her are going to live together, you and her are going to build a wealth. For send to generation wealth. Because you take up she, she now work and you still work. You take up a problem. If she not decide for to start a business or she not decide for work, you take up a problem. Because if you go to someone you, uh, you, you have your own yard and you're single. See? Live with she. Call her in for come live. You have to continuously buy the soap you used to last you a while. Because your clothes alone it did a wash. Now you have both clothes are washed together. The soap are done quick. So now you are going to need two soap. So when one done, you don't have to run for go buy the next one. You tie the tissue now go last you long. So, from she can't put a tile tissue, pan the tile tissue with it, so you know it's a problem. Same way like how enough woman did take up a man. Everything in your fridge used to dead and onion used to last all two weeks. Tomato used to last a little while. You used to have meat and you know, say whatever, whatever. Now you go to a man take in a man. When you take in the man, the side of the bed where you never used to sleep and start sleeping now. So you now go change your sheet every two weeks. Now every week you start changing your sheet. So if you and her come in now and abide in together now, she going to say to you, Babes, you are going to go on. You know what I say? My sister, the soap done. I going to buy the soap. See? And my sister, your fabric soft not done. And my sister, some little things there. I can't afford to buy them there. That is where you and her are built now. So the money where you would take to buy the soap, you can take it and put it on one part for do something else. So, you have built, you have built a wealth right there, so. So, the generational wealth, now, if you are not gone in a six month, or you are not gone in a two year, and, you see me? Because the two are supposed to have a, have a plan, one to say, all right. So, we are going to get pitney in a three year or whatever. So, remember, you don't have to protect yourself, you know, get the pitney now, you know. Remember, you know, you don't have to put yourself in a position if you don't get no youth yet because you don't have plans. See? Can't remember, you and her live, you fuck it right through. She not take no contraceptive. See, you not use no condom. Where you think I got mm. When she start ovulating now? You know what I got mm. And then now, you're not sure if you did ready to get pitney. Then you and her start have problem. You start cussing her regular now because I guess what now? Pitney no come and you start have problem. She have be a man in sickness and you never deal with that yet. She have vomit down the whole place, all by your bed, she have vomit. And then remember again, see me and live with me are two different things. No found a man and woman and run go take up people for living now in the house. And I saw this go. Take time for know people first before you go live with them. Some of the girls don't reach a man yard and left clothes. Some of the man has on the reach of the people in the yard and not left clothes. I saw no well one left clothes of people yard. I saw no just one left clothes of people yard. Come on now. You just invite yourself to people here. Make people invite you, you know? Generation wealth. <clears throat> Generation wealth is something that you have to start from the foundation. It starts within you. It starts within you. You understand? Set a foundation, no care how small it is. Start from a partner. When you start from a partner, save. When you get the first partner, you're going on the next one. And you're going on the next one. Because remember, we don't have no millions. A partner make enough of what we have what we have. Anybody who believe that, you know. So I don't like me to tell. Partner, make most of we see where we want out of life. If we don't show a partner, we don't have nothing because we don't have a rich uncle and a rich auntie. We don't have nobody investing in a way. Remember, you know, 
you have some girl get fit them start in you know, a year and close them take it and buy you know because they try to keep up with a girl where sure where fear when I come from you know you know what I mean God bless the people who must start partner God bless these people who start partner partner send my daughter to university partner send my daughter go a university Tell you no. Yeah, people. Them always say when time dog have money, him go buy cheese. And when puss have money, them go buy sugar and salt. Them go buy unnecessary things. You hear me say? So, generation curse is real. Generation wealth is real. You hear me say? The generation curse is real. The generation curse. Uh, uh, when you take up, when you say, Oh, my father have 13 pitney, so I have to come get 15. My father no have more, have, have more pitney than me. I have to come have more pitney than my father. But remember, say, in a year father time, a quatty and pence. They never have dollar them time there. A quarty and pence them used to use. Silver them used to deal with more time. So when all a man have all ten dollar them time, them rich. The difference with a countryman and a town man. A countryman have land. So he get a generation wealth because daddy did have one fifty acre land. One fifty acre land. I remember daddy have 10 pitney. So the 50 acre land, if somebody get even 5, 5 acre land, them still can remember 5 acre land enough. You can start and build a house or whatever you're going to do. Country people do that. That's their generation wealth. Town people have beer clothes we inherit. And, 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 and deadly furniture. And dulce me in a grip. And granny wig and, 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 and granny clothes and... Some things her granny did have in her room long time. And some clothes her granny never wear yet so she get from foreign and mother did have it already. And that we inherit. Remember this in a people. Rest in peace to my mother. Remember say my mother passed off. You know. Zin? My mother did left a yard. Zin? My mother did left a yard. I remember my next brother collect rent off of that. A year. My next brother I collect rent off of that. I remember say my mother was always an independent woman. My mother always at work. One time my mother, me used to drop my mother, she work on one laundromat. And she had press people clothes and she had wash people clothes and she had fold them up. My mother wash people clothes. Me never like it, but she had do her thing. Because she not depend on her son. Then. But my mother, when mountain come, she got her receipt book and she got to collect her rent. You hear me say? She got to collect her rent. So, she never left. No crosses and no problem, pan we. She left yard. A year. So, I just want to show you that every parent depends on them kids to come take care of them. And every parent do that. Some parents just want them to for win. Like all me, I want my youth them for win. Like my love when my life me bring me great joy. To see my youth them. I do. And just know say yo. I just smile. A regular I just look at my pit in them and just smile. And I feel good and know say yo. You know say. My youth them pass the worst. And them can stand up on the moon. And them make them own money now. And them have them job on. You see me? Like I just look at it. Just bring me joy. If you see my daughter. And my son. And them I say daddy. 
Yo, you're so you go on in there. I want to give you something you don't want it. Regular. My daughter won't give me things. I said, no, man, you keep it to yourself, man. Me forgive you, man. Because, you see, show me that man a breadwinner from a long time, people. Show me the breadwinner from a long time. I just saw me stay. See, you know, hardly. It's like, regular, my son, I try to give me things. I'm going to say, no, man, I'm a good man. Me just like, because you say a caring parent will always be a caring parent. A real dad would always be a real dad. A real father will always be a real father. My expectation for my children them is for them to be good at anything them put their mind to. From them all right within themselves, that is good enough for me because them don't reach where them for reach. In my eye already. Anywhere them are gone now, and them are carry themselves there. Me carry them to one part. Can't remember, me never left them by the wayside. Seeing? Remember, you know, you have some man. You are 18 now, go and go look work. You know, I'm not pay for your gun, you win. I want to pay no much money for go up on you. Eh? Big ignorance. Big, big ignorance, you know. Yo, I want to tell you, you come tell me about him and go back to school. You, I want to work if you go look. You have to tell your youth, say, if you go look at work. Why you don't support the youth? And then say, you can't get a work on the side or whatever. Remember this, you know. When I talk about my youth, them, I'm full of pride. When it come on to me youth, them bring me great joy. When them hurt, me hurt. No care how all them get, I my pity them same way. I baby them. I love them. I can't stop love them. You understand? Them don't them, them, them exceed my expectation already. You understand? They're going to be 25 this year. You know what it's 25 years in Jamaica, people. Especially in a time like this. You know what is 25 years old. You look by your son and your son. There they are all up in bed. Now nah, I rush for go get pitney. Yes, they're going to get pitney when they're ready. Because I feel them choice. Because when I tell my son, I look by him and say, Remember, you know, me I only not go live and then I go breed and bring in pitney for me. I don't go be the parent there, you know. You know, I have to move out and live with, with, with the people, you know. Just like how me did move out of my granny yard, you know. I don't do that something there, you know. Because you and your baby mother are going to come live in here and still me and feed you, you know. I don't depend on that. I'll be a supportive grandparent from a distance. But me and I don't live on the same roof like say, Oh, yeah. I don't depend on that. And them understand and know the real thing. Remember, I'm not naive, you know. Because I'm a man think before me act. So, most of the youth, them, not responsible. Because they have a grandfather and a grandmother. Where we are going to say, yo man, bring the picnic come. And them going to bless you with picnic and them going to live for them life. No, no, no. Live your life with the youth. You feel bond with the youth. And the grandparents feel bond with the youth. But to each his own. You know what I mean? Yeah, people. Me have a next thing I want to tell you. Know. Make sure you support your youth them. In a any job hunt. In a any adventures where they want to go. Put them in a path for win. Don't put them in a position for fail. A lot of us parents are expecting too much from our young children who just start to work. And that is chasing out the children them because we are letting the children them feel like say, we send them to school and we struggle and send them so them to come back and pay we. You're not supposed to get a reward of finances or financial gains. You're not supposed to get that. Your reward is when you see the child pass the worst and doing good. That's your reward. You're supposed to say, Jesus Christ, watch my son. Watch my daughter. Jesus Christ, murder, boy. All out and ball in joy. When you see a youth pass the worst. 
And financially, you have to jump up and talk, boy. Well, I'm give father money now. Give mother money now. And me send you to school you now. You're ungrateful. And me pay this. And me pay that. Not do it. The expectation of you from the pitney make the pitney has chest out because the pitney feel like, say, the pitney feel come and I'm mine you down. So how them I go save? How them I go save? What them I go have? What are your children is going to... What, what, what them I got have? Somebody tell me. What are your kids going to have? Them not gonna have nothing. Not a damn thing them not gonna have. You understand? But paper was for wise. And may I always tell you this. Buy what you need and not what you want. Not because you can afford it, that doesn't necessarily mean you should buy it. Sometimes you should cut your eye past it and say, I'll buy it next week because you don't necessarily need it right now. Now is not the time for us to be squandering food because a lot of families out there don't know where they are, where, where, where they are going to get their next meal from. Families here don't eat three, four days now. While we have food in a fridge, because we say we don't eat overnight food. You know what I mean? We should not be squanderous. Don't squander food. Stop spending unnecessary funds. Not because you can afford to go out every week, that means you must go out every week. Learn to minimize some of the things that you are doing. Because trust me, it's going to be rough. Not found in a city roughness yet. But when the roughness comes, make sure you are ready. Be prepared. But you tell us that we are not prepared. And we are not. We are not. We are not. All the while when I see storm come, Every supermarket, every wholesale sell off. Everybody go buy how much meat. And the plan say, light I go go away. You don't buy meat. When storm come, you buy tin food. Tin food. Because if light go away for one week straight, all of your meat will be spoiled. And if you cook it and it no eat off, it have to go dash away. So it's a waste. So you buy what you need. Necessities you should buy. And people still not understand. Bully beef and sardine and tuna and all of them things. These are things you should have when storm is coming. Bread. Bulla. Them look or something there. Crackers. People still not think. People just want to full up Charlie and I show people say, yeah man, I want you 100,000. Me just spend a supermarket. And then when well, like, like go and see them and dash the food. Not even dog can eat the food. That can't right, people. That can't right. That can't right none at all. All the people them who live overseas, I know that it's tax time coming up. And you get your W2 farm and you file your taxes. Some of have all five pit me on enough money. Some of get all 10, 15,000 back from tax. A full time now, I want to utilize this money wisely. Spend it in places. Actually, spend some on the children for a change. Five years now, you take the money and I give a man for turn. And every time the man turn, you know, see back the man until tax time again. When are you going to learn? Treat your children for once, please. And uno man, stop running for go buy one girl, one bag with a little tax money. Spend some for your kids. Spend some for yourself. Please. 
for once. Do it this year. Stop taking the last money go give man for buy a vehicle and you can't even drive in the vehicle. Why you don't take a driving course and learn to drive? Because the man buy the vehicle or you give him the money for buy the vehicle, you have to pay the car note. You have to pay the insurance. Queen Marsha, what do you mean who does that? I've seen so much, so much stories. I've seen so much stories. So much stories. But as I said, the truth is always going to be an offense. The truth will always be an offense. It will forever be an offense. The truth is naked. Now we are not close. Naked, bad. You know what I mean? <laughs> Loyal, they said the man them start talking nice. <laughs> And then, see Nel, the Nella, Nella, Nella there tell us that some people buy some car and them can't even pay the insurance. Come on, people. Invest in a something, man, where you can get back our money. Come and buy no anything where you buy now. Once you now get back no return off, you can get your tax return. We don't know if you're going to live to see the next tax year. Come on, people. Now, that was my stupid advice still, you know. You don't have to take it. And I understand. You don't have to take it. But for the children's sake. For the children's sake. Please. For the children's sake. Treat them. Do something with them. Fly come to Jamaica. Fly to Bahamas. Take them for a trip. The children them born in America. And never go up on a plane from them ban. Carry them a Florida go to Disneyland no man. Spend a money, spend some of the money where you get for them no man. I feed them money to in a man. Children them have them passport and it, oh my kids. My kids, my kids, my kids, rare, rare, this and that. It's all about my kids. But it's lie. Lie you telling. You know what I mean? But as I say, you know, me just a sec. Ah, you don't know that me say me no come for bash nobody. Cause to each his own, you know. To each his own. To each his own. And each time I remember things, me have to tell you know. Man and woman. People will follow me. So empty other one over here. Some people just come on and come off. You understand? People who in tune and listen to what I say are interested in their life. Your job is a very important thing. Your job pays your bills. Your job keeps you sane although sometimes it stress you out couple people at your job not like you whether you work at call center or you work at Denny's or McDonald's or Waffle House or KFC or Tasty's or Mother's or Chicken and Things or anywhere at all where food sell or anywhere at all where you work don't let a guy or a girl make you walk off that job Never let a boy or a girl make you walk off of your job. Use your day off and look at another job. Use your day off to go up an interview. Use your lunch time to send out resume. You get an hour for lunch time. Use your lunch time to send out resumes. Have a whole heap of resumes. Pile up. Don't make your ignorance make you stop your own at dollars. Don't do it. I've done them a long time. 
That them want. Them want to get out you. Remember this, you know. You are replaceable, not irreplaceable. Because I know your company. Only if you are a boss, you can't get fired. Remember, you know. If you are working on a wholesale. They might treat you bad. Regular you want to walk off. But look at the work first. Do. Not left your work. Because remember it's small. But I hear small. Hungry not nice. So you should have known this. You look where you have. You know you sure right when time weekend come or when fortnight come. You look at bar work where you do. They might try to tell you you're short enough time. And you know you're not short. I the same look work that send a look son go to school right now, you look at data. You week on, week off where you do. All your work, mama. Now watch people face and how you start. How you sit down. All your pride. You work in a bar or work in a casino. Man, I go want skinny out and stab you out. All your pride and every boy you make come walla walla up in you. Don't make them have you as the club matches. Or the workplace or. No make them have you as that. If I that you want, do I have benefit from it? So it go. I don't knock your hustle, baby. Because you know where you get out of it. You know what I mean? But I say, don't make a guy or a boy or a girl. Make you lose your income. You know what I mean? Mika, say sometimes you have to just quit. First, a, 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 a first or go to jail. No, that you not go do. Don't make the ignorance make your thing for God jail. Swallow your spit. Count to ten. Remember you know, that them want you for doing you know. Queen Marsha said don't depend upon man. She has a big point right there. Never you depend upon nobody at all. Because you will get disappointed. Depend on yourself. You will not feel yourself. Because remember you know. Expectation is a thing when I show up and make we hate people enough time, you know. Because we expect this man to do and we expect this woman to do. When people call out your name, I can't say Mika. Mika. Wola Mika. I have call out your wola your name. Alright, True Val. True Val Mika. True Val. You want me to call out your name. True Val. Alright, True Val. Truvel. You want me call out Truvel. Truvel. What are you of Truvel underscore Mika? How oh, am I going to know that, brother? How oh, am I going to know? Arlene, big up. How oh, am I going to know? Oh, I'm going to know that now. See what I'm going to talk about? Then if I see Mika, I'm not going to say Mika. I'm ready to beat me now for that. And I can't blame me for that, brother. The man says it's trouble. Jaja. I leave that name alone. You know, tr trouble. Change the name to trouble, because you don't know. Change it to trouble. Trouble maker. See? I love it. No disrespect. I read how I read and things. So I don't disrespect. See? I'm beat me. Do. Do. Next thing. Don't fight down nobody upon them belief. What you believe and what our next person believe is going to be different. It's not all the time two people share the same belief. Somebody might like Aki and you might like kidney. You can't force the people them to tell them to eat Aki. Right? When a kidney them like. And this is a problem again in a society where we actually force people and tell people. Where them to believe in and where them to do from where them to do. 
Judas vuelve.